Hey guys, so today I'm going to explain the difference between a pigtail and a daisy chain if you're doing electrical wiring. So uh, just a couple of things right up front is I've omitted the ground. So, you know, obviously each outlet is going to have a ground. Um, so there's no point in writing and putting that in the picture. And then on top of that, you're going to have a pigtail for better lack of terms on each ground. So I'm going to use the term twisted together. That way we don't get pigtail confused since there's a different couple of different ways to use it. So let's go over pigtail first. So what a pigtail is, is you're going to have your breaker box here and you can think of it as just basically one wire that goes all the way across all the breakers or all the uh, outlets. And what happens is uh, when you come up to an outlet, you pigtail the outlet. So basically the power is coming directly from the box. So like this first one, you're going to have pigtails here. And then you can think of it as like cutting this wire, go to the next one, and then you're gonna pigtail this one together. So the power is still coming from the box here. And then same thing with this one, pigtail, and the power is coming straight from the box. So this is also called in parallel. Um, and if when you look into a box that's pigtailed, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see literal wire nuts. All you're gonna see are wire nuts in the box, and then you're gonna see three cables come out, your black hot, white neutral and your ground usually down here. So the reason why you'd want to have a pigtail is again in parallel. So you can have uh, outlets that operate independently from each other. So an example of that would be, let's say you're in your computer room, like I'm in a computer room right now, and you have your computer hooked up to one outlet and say, uh, let's see, let's say downstream. So here you have a light lamp hooked up to this outlet. So let's say you're pushing your computer really hard, you're playing, you know, some game that's super graphic intensive and your, you know, your power supply blows or something and it blows the outlet. So this outlet will die, your computer will turn off. But because the uh, wiring is in a pigtail or in parallel, only this one dies. So your lamp will still be working here. And that's one of the main differences between pigtails and daisy chains in parallel again. So basically, again, each outlet is being powered directly from the breaker box via the pigtails that were made in each box. So now if we go to daisy chaining down here, it's a little bit different. So uh, you've got the breaker box here and these are gonna be the wire connections. So kind of the same thing is here, but I wanted to do it like this so you can see that all the outlets are kind of connected together. So you've got your wire here, this would be your insulation, this would be your hot and your neutral. And then of course the grounds are omitted again for simplicity. So in a daisy chain, normally uh, you're gonna have a lot of wires in the box. So typically it's gonna be six wires. You're gonna have, if we use this GFC, GFCI as an example, you're gonna have the line side and the load side. So for GFCI, the line side is always the side that's bringing power into the box from the breaker. So you're going to have your black hot, your white, your ground down here. And then for your load, you're going to have another set of black, white, and grounds down here. So you're going to have, again, six wires in the box. Now what happens is basically you're going to power, the, the power to this outlet here is actually being powered from the outlet that's upstream. So you're gonna have, again, six wires in this box, black, white, ground, and again, the other side, black, white, ground. Um, and let's use this as an example, this is gonna be a standard outlet, so it doesn't matter which two screws you put it on. Uh, you put on either one, because it's gonna be powered by this receptacle or outlet. And then same thing downstream, this one, this one will only have three wires because it's the last one in this circuit. But basically the difference is, let's say that your, you know, this is this would be a good example for say a bathroom or something. So let's say you're using the hair dryer as a very common uh, appliance that kind of will blow the outlet because there's too much amperage going, going through the outlet. So let's say you've got your outlet here in the bathroom and these two outlets are also in the bathroom somewhere else. So you've got your, your hair dryer plugged here and it blows and what happens is because this is daisy chained, all three of these outlets 
are being powered by the outlet that's upstream. So this one's powered by this one. This one is powered by this one. So if this one blows, these two are also dead because there's no power anymore. Whereas in a pigtail, they're in parallel, so it doesn't matter. Daisy chaining, it's called in series. So basically, again, they're all powered together via the outlet that is upstream from the outlet. So this one powered by this one. So the example, like I kind of mentioned, is somewhere like in a bathroom or a kitchen. You would want that circuit daisy chained because if something blows, if something you know gets messed up, you don't want to be having other outlets still working, especially where there's water around because as you know, water is a very good conductor of electricity. So if that's the case, then basically the, the goal is to stop the entire outlet into the entire circuit until you can fix it. So then once you fix it, say on this GFCI, all you need to do is hit the test button, which actually should already be uh, you know flipped basically. And then you just push the reset button and then the entire circuit should work again. So that's kind of where, where you would want to have a daisy chain, usually in a bathroom or a kitchen. And so that's the difference between a pigtail and a daisy chain. And there are different, you know, scenarios where you'd want to use either of them, depending. And so just want to explain the differences behind that. And hopefully it makes more sense to you. And hopefully you can figure out if you're trying to wire up a circuit, which one works best for you. So I hope the video was help helpful. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. And thanks for watching.